Why on earth would I hire somebody when I can just do it myself? What's up guys, Jason here, Aspiring Entrepreneur. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why you should be looking for a freelancer right now on Upwork.com. So why am I doing this video? Because as entrepreneurs, we have the propensity to really want to do everything ourselves and be sure that everything every everything is good to go. And we like to do things ourselves because we know that we do a great job, right? That's why we became entrepreneurs in the first place because we wanted to stand out on our own and be responsible for our own deliverables and to our customers and our clients. However, something that I've painstakingly learned is there is just not enough time in the day to do everything. So in this particular series, uh, this video I'll talk about why I think it's important but we're gonna follow up with a lot of videos after this one in this particular playlist talking about A to Z, how to find the right freelancer. So in this series, I'm gonna be hiring a freelancer to do blog writing for me. So we're going to go through how to write a description, how to set up an account on Upwork, how to look at proposals, how to find freelancers, how to do interviews. I know it would be nerve wracking, but remember, you're the one answering, asking the questions this time. And then of course, how to make offers and evaluate performance so that you actually save time as opposed to lose time. And that is one of the biggest complaints or fears I hear about freelancing or outsourcing. And that's hiring freelancers or, or outsourcing work is you don't really know what the quality control is going to be. And that's that's something that we all have to get comfortable with and we can do everything in our power to make sure that we hire the right type of person which number one is making sure that you pay adequately i mean if you if you try and go hire someone for a dollar an hour well you're going to get dollar an hour results right at the same time though outsourcing doesn't mean you need to spend 15 or 20 dollars an hour on you know some seasoned freelance professional there is a middle ground and in the next couple of videos Hopefully I'm going to be able to translate how I find that middle ground and hopefully you can piggyback off of the lessons I've learned hiring freelancers over the years so you yourself can be successful hiring freelancers. Now I always like to go back to the 80-20 principle and that is 20% of your work produces 80% of the results. So as an entrepreneur, and I'm selling, I'm selling freelancing really hard right now. Well, A, because I think you should do it, and B, you should watch, subscribe and watch the other videos, right? But you want to focus on that 20% that produces 80% of the results. So I'm going to give you an example with this particular job that I'm working on right now. I record videos like this for you guys. If you're already subscribed to my channel, then you know my core business vlog is all about how to build an online business from scratch. Those videos are anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes long. For YouTube, I know that's long, but hey, whatever. So it takes a tremendous amount of time to do these videos, to set up set up the lighting. You know, wait, I, I live in Seattle. You know, wait till there's sun outside so I can actually record these things. So there's a lot of work involved, but the, my 20% is creating this video. So after this video, there needs to be a description written. It needs to be uploaded to YouTube. It needs to be sent across social media. It needs to go on, on Facebook. I need to talk about it on Twitter. I should make a blog post about it. I should go on LinkedIn Pulse. I should maybe do a couple of slides on, on SlideShare, depending. There's a lot of other things that I could be doing with this content. So I've decided that I'm going to hire a writer to essentially take the transcription of these videos and begin to take piece out that content and syndicate it across other platforms. That way I do one thing, this is the 20, and then they do everything else. They do the 80. So when you're looking in your particular business, even if you're just getting started, you might be in week one. If you're in week one, I want you to just do this exercise. Look at all the things you have on your plate to do. What is everything that you have to do to either build your business or grow your business? You're just getting started. You probably have no idea what to do. Go ahead, uh, subscribe to the channel and, and check out the videos on building a business from scratch. If you're already in the groove, you're kind of you're kind of going, but you're wearing multiple hats. Take a look at which one of those hats you're not best suited for, and then try and hire a freelancer from there. So that's my quick little tip for you guys. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got some value out of it, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe for more marketing and business building tactics and strategies just like the ones we talked about in this video. Over on my YouTube channel, I'm going from A to Z on how to build a online business consulting income completely from scratch and making side series just like this one showing you everything you need to know about building a online business. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and then comment below if you've ever hired a freelancer or if you have hired a freelancer, what you hired them for and we can get a great discussion going about what types of freelancers are great to hire when you're just starting out. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'm going to be going through A to Z on building an online business and how to hire freelancers properly on Upwork.com. So keep building the business you love and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.